Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Versic MRI. And this is a quick case on a 56-year-old gentleman. He's a farmer, does lots of hard work, and he just noticed ulnar-sided wrist pain. And this is an MRI arthrogram. And on this view here, it tells the whole story. So here we have the distal ulna. This is the radius here. And between them, we see this band coming across. This is the triangular fiber cartilage. And we can see that the TFCC has a full thickness perforation right there in the middle. So this is the central disc. If we go one cut towards the palmar aspect, we see the palmar band here, this gray area. If we go back to the midline, we see the full thickness perforation of the central disc right there. If we go one cut this way, two cuts this way, we see the dorsal band over here. It looks intact. This broad area is part of the ECU tendon sheath that goes around the ECU, which is this, the extensor carpal ulnaris tendon. And if we go on this cut, we see the ulnar styloid, there's an attachment called the styloid attachment of the TFC that goes here. Now deep to that we should see in this little trough a foveal attachment. I do not see the attachment to the foveal, so I think there's a probable tear of the foveal attachment and also this well-defined tear of the central disc. Now there's fluid in the proximal carpal row. We put up the T1 weighted images here. On this view, you can see the arthrogram contrast in the proximal carpal row, and you can see the contrast is distending the distal radial ulnar joint, and it's going through that little tear, and also it tracks over here um, underneath the area where there's a suspected tear of that foveal attachment. There's one other thing to consider here. So this is the distal ulna. Normally the ulna will be a little bit proximal to the distal radius. You can see it's right at the level of the radial articular surface, so this is a mildly positive uh, ulnar variance. When you have a positive ulnar variance, there's narrowing right here where the TFCC goes, and what happens is the ulna can uh, abut the base of the lunate bone here and pinch the triangular fiber cartilage. That's exactly what we have here. So you have a full thickness tear right there, and you have the ulna abutting. So it's called this is called ulnar abutment syndrome, and you typically will see some marrow changes within the proximal lunate bone. So can't see it very well here on the T1 weighted fat suppressive sequence, but if we look on the other sequence, we see right here this dark signal on the T1 images. So this is uh, edema and or sclerosis of the bone. There's that tear right there. And this is a little bit of motion here on this sequence, but you can see there's subchondral marrow edema in the base of the lunate bone. So just a case of uh, ulnar abutment syndrome with some reactive marrow signal changes at the base of the lunate and that small full thickness tear of the central disc of the TFCC. A bread and butter case, and uh, thank you very much.